AI is here and honestly, we need to start using it. Especially if you're a busy photographer or retoucher and you're actually making money off the business. I have been using AI for more than three years now. And I'm going to be talking about some features that actually make retouching faster and easier. The first two is the retouch on me heel. And with the retouch on me heel, you can remove blemishes from your image faster. So you don't have to waste time or spend much time removing blemishes from your image. So this is how it works. To use the retouch on me heel, after you've gotten that plugin, I'm going to show you how you can get the plugin in a bit. So the first thing you want to do, just duplicate your background layer by pressing up command J. And after you install it, just come to filter, click on retouch on me and click on heal right here. So this is a very useful tool and I use it for all the image I've retouched. So it will automatically detect our blemishes and remove our blemishes for us. Now, if I just zoom in and show it before and after, you can see, see our before and after. And as you can see, it's missed some part, but it's AI, it's not perfect, but it can actually reduce your workflow and make you faster. And from here, I'm gonna click on make mask and hit apply. You can see it has removed much of the blemishes, but it's missed some, so you can do this manually. Also, if you zoom in, you can see it leaves some patch, so you can just fix those patch manually as well. Now, it has done most of the blemishes removal for us. I'm still going to share with you another tool that you can actually use to clean up your blemishes even more if you want to do that. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the dodge and burn. So, let's have to smooth the skin of this image right now. Instead of doing dodge and burn manually, you know how long it takes to actually do dodge and burn. So, you can actually use AI to smooth your skin using dodge and burn. Let me show you how that works. So what we are going to do now, we're going to create a stamp visible layer after removing the blemishes by pressing on command option shift E. And if you're using the windows, control shift alternate E to create a stamp visible layer. After that, come to your filter, click on retouch on me and click on dodge and burn. I'm just going to load and help us do our dodge and burn. So if I zoom in, let's see before and after, see the before and the after, the before and the after. I feel this place is looking too bright, so I'm going to fix it inside of Photoshop. And you can also move this blend mode to increase the amount of dodge and burn you want on your image. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce the amount of dodge and burn. And you can also play with the amount of forms you want on the place with dodge and burn for us. So let me just reduce the want. So let's see our before and after, our before and after. And from here, just click on soft light layer and hit apply. Now you can see the map of the dodge and burn that we touched for me did for us. To bring the image back to normal, come to your blend mode, change it from normal to soft light. Let me just go what we've done inside of Photoshop me so far so you can see the before and after. See where we started from, our before and after. Now there is AI tool that you can actually add on top of your retouch on me to make it look even more better and smoother and it's called the Reblum Retouch. So this is like a bonus. To use the Reblum Retouch, I'm going to create another stamp visible layer again. Remember, command option shift E or control alternate shift E if you're using a Windows. After creating a stamp visible layer, come to your filter Click on Reblum Retouch and click on Reblum Retouch again. And this is just going to do more of dodge and burn and also remove the blemishes from my image. If I zoom in, you can see this image is looking a lot better already. All right? So, see the before and the after. The before and the after. Those blemishes on the forehead that we touched on me missed, you can see Reblum has just removed those blemishes as well. So, see the before and the after. And for my love settings, I'm using fashion. You can use natural if you want to get a more natural image. But fashion always works for me. And for my fine tune, if I want to reduce my dodge and burn, I can take this general down. I'm just going to reduce the dodge and burn for me. While for the textures, if I don't want to remove much textures, I can just take this texture down. I'm just going to bring back the textures as you can see. So immediately I start moving this texture up, it's just going to remove the blemishes from my image. Why if I bring it down, my textures are back. So I'm going to remove my texture. Also, do my dodge and burn with this general right here. For the presets, my sets to high quality. So if you have a slow laptop, you can change this to ultra fast or fast or balanced. But mine is on high quality. But high quality takes more time to process. From here, I'm going to click on OK. Now let's see what we've done with AI so far. Let me just group everything. All right, so take a look at this image. See the before and the after. The before and the after. Now this AI retouch don't just work for headshot or BT image. It also works for full body image or portrait image. Now let's try that AI retouch on this image. So I already created an action for it. So I'm going to come to my action. And just click on this one click retouch and just going to do my heal for me my dodge and burn for me automatically so what this means is instead of doing heal manually and dodge and burn manually a regular manually i actually created an action for it so i don't have to do it all i have to do now if i want to use my ai retouch is to just click on my one click ai retouch and just going to do everything i did earlier for me i'm just going to make my image look good in one click so let's wait for it to load so you can see the effect and while we are waiting for it to load 
If you're looking for someone to help you retouch your image, you can send me an email at sellersvisualinfo at gmail.com. So I'll be leaving that email on the screen right now and also in the description below of this video. Okay, that's finished loading. Let's quickly see the before and after of this image. Now, see the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see how good this image is and it did it with just one click. All right, so let me show you what is inside this group. All right, so the first thing we have inside this group, let me just turn off the group layer. So we have the hair which actually remove our blemishes for us. So if I just turn on the hair, see the before and the after. You can see those blemishes on the face are gone, the before and the after. We also have the dodge and burn. So see the before dodge and burn and after dodge and burn. You can see the before and the after. It just tried to make the image look smooth. Now next thing we have is the real blum retouch that I explained earlier. So this is before the real blum retouch and after the real blum retouch, the before and the after. So just add more smoothness to the image and you can actually do your contour with the jump on with portrait volume. See the before and the after. The before and the after. So I think this really works. Let's say I generate before and after. These are before one click AI retouch and after one click AI retouch. The before and the after. Now, do you know you can actually clean up your background using the retouch for me? Let me show you how that works. So let's say I want to clean up this background right now. What I can do, I'll first of all crop this image to remove where I don't want. So maybe for example, copy these lights because I just want to clean up the background. Then remove those lights down, pick my remove tool and just paint on the light stand. Also remove those patches on the ground with the remove tool or the patch tool or any tool that works for you and just hit OK. All right, after that, you can see how dirty this background is. Now to clean it up, all you have to do is come to your filter, click on retouch on me and click on clean backdrop right here. Now, before we continue, if you like me anything from this video so far, make sure to give it a like and also share this video to a busy photographer or a busy retoucher who you think might need this video. Now, let's continue. And retouch on me is just going to try to clean up the backdrop for you. So let's just wait for it to load. All right, it has finished loading. So let me just zoom in so you can see the before and the after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. You can see how rough and how dirty the background is. The before and the after. And from here, you can just click on apply. And any details that is still remaining, you can just do it manually. Of course, this AI is not perfect 100%, but it works and make workflow faster. So those are the features I use to retouch almost all my image that I use regularly. But there are other features that are useful that I use once in a while. For example, like the retouch on me dust, you can use it to remove dust from any fabrics on your image. Also, there is the retouch on me face make that you can actually use to apply makeup to your image. And also, there's the retouch on me fabrics that you can actually use to straighten fabrics. There are more, but let me just show you how those ones and make sure actually works. Now, you can use the retouch on me fabrics to fix all those wrinkles on the clothes. To fix it, once you duplicate your background layer, come to filter, come to retouch on me, and click on fabrics right here. Once that fabric is finished loading, it's just going to straighten out the clothes for you. So if I zoom in, you can see the before and the after. Take a look at the image, see the before and the after, the before and the after. And you can choose to move the blend up if you want to do that, but I'm not advised. About 100 actually works or below. So see the before and the after, click on the before and the after. And once you are done, just click on apply. Now that's how you can actually straighten fabrics to your image, the before and the after. Now let's talk about dust. If you want to move dust on your image, like the dust on the clothes, just duplicate your layer by pressing on command J and come to filter, come to retouch on me and click on retouch on me dust right here. So as soon as loading, you can see that I just remove the dust on this image, see the before and the after, the before and the after, and it's clean. So if you have a smaller dust, you can just click on this small dust right here, this fine depth. If you have a larger one, you can just click on this large one right here. So mine is a medium, so I use the medium, see the before and the after. From here, hit on apply. Now, what if you want to enhance or apply makeup to your image? All you have to do, create a stamp visible layer, come to your filter again, click on retouch on me, and click on this face make right here. Once this page open, if I want to enhance the makeup, I can just turn on makeup. And under the eyes, I can select any makeup I want for the eyes. So you can see smoky veil. So if you know the one you want to use, you can just click this drop down arrow and select any one you want to use. But if you want to hover around all of them, or you just want to see all of them, you can just click on this forward arrow right here to switch between different eye makeup until you see what works for you. I think this one really works well. Right, this one works well. Let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. The before and the after. All right, so that works for the eyes. And also if you feel it's too much, you can just come to the depth, 
and reduce the depth. So this depth is like opacity. You can reduce it or you can increase it depending on what you want. If I want to change the lips color, I want to add a makeup to the lips. I'm going to come to the lips. Select any one I want. So let's try this first one. All right. So let's hover around it and see which one works for the lips. So I think I'm going to leave the lips the way. Oh, I think this one actually works. All right. I think this one works. So maybe I'm going to reduce the depth a little bit. Or I'm just going to put it at none because I like the original lipstick. So none works. Also for this skin, if you want to add, uh, what is it called? Freckles. You can just click on this none right here. And just select any one you want so let's try this um let's try this sun kiss all right so you're just going to add focus to the image also you can reduce the depth or increase the depth if you want to do that so there are different to choose from you can also move this arrow up to select another focus or select another one you can also add blush with this soft rose right here also another type of blush another type of blush so what whatever you want so i'm just going to add a little bit of focus so i think this first one works and i'm just going to reduce the opacity with this depth right here and hit apply all right so see the before and the after the before and the after and if you want to buy the little touch of me and the real blum i believe in the liquid you can buy them in the description below this video and if you use the link for the touch of me you're going to get 20 percent off any purchase you make and for the Reblum, if it's your first time, you're going to get seven days free trial to retouch unlimited amount of pictures. And if you like it, you can then decide to pay for it. And there are some retouch on me tools that I do not cover in this video, like the retouch on me eye vessel to remove those rings inside the eye, the eye brilliance to brighten the eyes, the mattifier to remove highlights on your image, the skin tone to fill skin tone, the retouch on me teeth whitening to whiten the teeth. And as you can really tell, there are a lot of retouch on me features that you can buy out there. But the one I recommend first is the heel and the dodge and bomb. And you can choose to purchase any one you like later if you decide to. And if you want to watch how all the dodge and missiles actually works, check out the right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay pretty.